A massive thank you to EA for providing me with a copy of the game. Ahoy there mates, Steve the Pirate here, welcome to my wheel settings for the Logitech G920 for F123 on the Xbox Series X. These settings should work for Xbox as well, Xbox One. Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X and PC as long as you're using the Logitech G Hub software. Now if you have the Logitech G923 settings go and check out my video that will pop up in the top right hand corner about now. So we need to head into controls, vibration and force feedback. When you go into this menu you need to select the wheel that you're using so Logitech G920. Once you've inputted all these settings you then need to save it as a completely new profile like I've got this one saved here as G920 STP as for the control scheme I've not changed anything there are some players out there that actually change the brake to the clutch so you can key bind your clutch as the brake and it makes braking a lot easier for some people but my settings make the brake okay it's okay using the brake it's not a problem another G920 has a really stiff brake but with these settings you shouldn't find it a problem at all. So into calibration. Steering rate 100%, steering dead zone 0, steering linearity 5, steering saturation 0, throttle dead zone 0, throttle linearity 0, throttle saturation 0, brake dead zone 0, brake linearity 20 and brake saturation 55. If you find the brake to be too stiff and you need it to work even better if you be more sensitive for you, your best changing the brake linearity in steps of 5. So increase the linearity in steps of 5. So from 20 to 25, 30, 35, 40 and so on. And keep doing it in increments of 5 until you find the right, the right setting for you. If the brake linearity still isn't good enough, reset that down to about 35 and then do the same with the brake saturation. Increase it by steps of 5 until it feels right for you. For any of these settings, if you want to know what they do, there's a description box on the right hand side like there for steering rate. It says the speed of which stick input is applied in order to reach maximum lock. A small value represents a slow steering rate, a large value represents a fast steering rate. So if you want the car to, well if you want the wheel to turn faster than you're turning your wheel, just increase the steering rate. Vibration and force feedback. Vibration and force feedback on you using a G920, why would you have it turned off? Vibration and force feedback strength 98. I did try 100, I've even tried 50. 98 just seems to be the sweet spot. On track effects 45, same again, 45 just seems to be the sweet spot. Rumble strips 50, off track effects 28, wheel damper 15, maximum wheel rotation for F1 and F2, I've got that set at 360 degrees. You can increase this to 420 if you're comfortable with that, I just found 360 to be a lot more responsive than any other angle set for the maximum wheel rotation. Maximum wheel rotation for the supercars, I've got that set as 720, that is by far the best setting for the supercars, 720 for the Logitech G920, it just feels perfect. And that is it, those are my wheel settings for the Logitech G920 for F123 on the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PC, as long as you're using G-Hub software, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> If you happen to find these settings useful, then a like would be truly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, also a like would be truly appreciated. Your support on these wheel settings videos has been phenomenal. Get the words out, Steve. Your support on these wheel settings videos has been phenomenal. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Play awesome.